Lucas here. If you're looking for a new guitar or bass strap, I might have the right one for you. In this video I want to talk about six things why you should or maybe shouldn't buy the Daria Autolock guitar strap. So this particular one I have here is made out of nylon and it is the color is midnight blue, so it's a dark blue. I want to talk about five great things and five things I really love about this guitar strap and why it's one of my favorites and one thing that's maybe a drawback and yeah words of warning I uh, don't want to sound too dramatic but you will hear in the end I will that's that will be my last point first of all what is awesome it comes with a lock in feature uh, the auto lock is built into the guitar strap at the at both ends you have this auto lock you can just already in place and yeah, can tilt it up little bit and open it again. Extremely fast and easy. On this side I have the shuller pins already installed because many of my other guitar straps come with the shuller locking mechanism but it works perfect with the shuller and let me grab a couple of other guitars to demonstrate you if it works with all pins. Here I have my Strandberg Bowden which has relatively big but the regular pins and works here as well. On my Roadworn 60 straight I also still have the stock strap pin and also works very well on this guitar. And lastly on my Faber bass, let's see if it works here, yeah, it's a tight fit so you can use it for bass as well. So I think the auto lock feature of this strap is awesome. You don't need the shoulder system anymore if you like the strap. Tadario says on the website that it doesn't fit all guitars or all kind of pins. Extremely thin or extremely big ones it might not fit on. So it's not guaranteed to be a fit. But yeah, some strap pins for a guitar are pretty affordable. The second thing that's awesome about this strap is the price. It is pretty cheap. It only costs 30 dollars or 30 euros something like that i bought this one on amazon for about 30 euro and this video is obviously not sponsored by the dario unfortunately and yeah price that's in my book it's a fantastic price tag because the material is really nice which brings me to the third point the material this one's made out of nylon and it's very soft and feels nice to touch if you just love your leather belt okay then this is, might not be perfect for you but it comes in three different materials. Uh, it says on, on uh, the, the Dario website you can also use a padded one. That's yeah, slightly different material to this. And Polypro. But what I read on uh, some Amazon reviews is that the nylon one is actually the nicest one and it's nicer or, or feels nicer than the padded one. That's why I chose this one. And yeah, to me it feels great to have it on. The fourth point is adjustability. So this strap is adjustable from 30 inch to 55 inch. So it can be extremely long. Now I don't know how I set it up, but it's, if you just strap it around with a guitar, you easily find the optimal length for you. And with leather straps, let me grab one quickly. With leather straps, you always have a mechanism or Oftentimes with leather straps you have a system like this and you have to remove it and use different holes to get it back in which takes a lot more time and it's just not possible to adjust on the fly or while you're playing. The last thing that's great about the Autolock strap by the Dario is that it comes in a lot of different colors. Black, blue, red, yellow, uh, whatever and even with some patterns. So you can really choose whatever you like, whatever is your favorite. And you don't just have to take a brown or a black one, yeah, the standard colors, but you can also if you want. So those were the five main advantages. A fifth maybe bonus advantage for all the vegetarians and vegans out there. Since it's not made out of leather, obviously no animals were harmed uh, in producing this. So this might also be uh, worth mentioning. Yeah, now to the, my last point. Uh, it's not from my personal experience, but I saw it on forums online. 
you might be careful if you have a guitar with a nitrocellulose lacquer. I saw a picture of a guy with his brand new Les Paul. He wrote that after one hour of playing, this plastic here, I'm pretty sure there are, or there might be softeners in it, I don't know for sure, there might be, uh, left some marks like shadows on the Les Paul and I'm not sure if he was able to polish it out, but just be careful if you have a nitrocellulose lacquered guitar. I'm not sure if it's perfect for that or if it actually leaves any marks. So that's just a word of warning. But apart from that, this is pretty much my, my go-to strap now and it's just, the material is great and the adjustability is awesome and then you can just swap it as easy as you just saw in this video with the auto lock feature. So two thumbs up from me for this strap, awesome product. If you're looking for a guitar or bass strap, try the Dario Autolock one, it's, it's great and it doesn't cost a fortune either. If you have questions about this product, leave a comment down below and also if you're already a user of the Dario strap, the Autolock strap, leave also a comment down below, I would like to know your opinion. Alright, that's it for today, see you in the next video guys, bye bye!